good steak has to be my favourite thing. There's so much choice and I could have a different one every day. Over the last few months, Eblex have been working hard on their steak range in a bid to show people there's more to it than sirloin, rump and fillet. There's two reasons around the steak bar range is so special. We wanted to address the inconsistency of steaks in the marketplace and that the consumer wants to be buying a product that they can rely on. Secondly, we wanted to try and utilise some of the more underused cuts out of the four quarter meat, trying to put more profitability into the uh, into the meat trade. There looks like there's some great cuts here. Yeah, yeah, there are some really good cuts here. We brought the rump down into three muscles, removing any gristles out of it so it improves the quality. And also, we've even developed some more cuts out of the four quarter where we break them down, give you some really, really good steaks that the customers are going to really enjoy. We've done significant research into these, addressing the different textures and the different eating qualities. Some of the steaks that we've created, the flat iron for instance, has taken off like you wouldn't believe. Great cut of meat. Yeah, fantastic. Much underutilised cut of meat. So how can business benefit from this range? Both retail and food service can benefit from this range because it offers a greater variety of steaks. Eblex already have marketing material in place to help push the new steak range at all levels of the supply chain. They're convinced that the hard work they've undertaken can really pay off. Eblex's new steak bar range opens up some new and exciting opportunities to create some fantastic individual dishes. So we've got our picanha steak with triple cooked chips, a modern Bernays sauce with some tarragon, and then we go over to our flat iron steak with char grilled little gem lettuce and hurling tomatoes. And this is special. This is the Denver steak, caramelised onion, and marabone. And now I'm going to show you how to make it. To start with, I've got some onion, parsley, and of course my Denver steak. And I'm going to use egg, flour, and oatmeal crumb to coat some bone marrow on the side. Okay, this is our quality standard Denver steak. It's one of the more interesting cuts from the chuck. And with our Denver steak, the fifth step is to wrap it in cling film and then put it into a sous vide bag. So I'm wrapping it in cling film to make sure that we keep a nice shape when we're cooking it through the water bath. Okay, we put our steak into our sous vide bag. Make sure, again, you've got the shape nice and straight because we want that really perfect long steak. Okay, we're popping the Denver steak into the water bath. We're going to cook that at 60 degrees for 10 minutes just really nice and gently. That just helps the tenderisation and the slow cooking process. Okay, we've got our Denver steak. I've just drained off the juices and I've seasoned the steak and then put some clarified butter onto the steak. Remember, there's no fat on the steak. And then pop your Denver steak onto your char grill. And all we're going to do is sear it on either side. We just want to serve that steak beautiful and medium to rare. Now I'm going to move the steak 45 degrees. Just one motion, 45 degrees. And then we're going to turn the steak over, and now we're ready to plate up. First of all, we've got to get our caramelised onions with two spoons. This is the tricky bit. Just quenelle, a nice sort of shape. We get those, pop them onto our plate like so. Then we've got our croquettes, marabone croquettes. Go on next. And then we've got our Denver steak, which we're just going to pop along the side. Just cook beautiful and rare. And just to finish, some roughly picked parsley, which just adds a little bit of bite and colour to our dish at the end. And there you go, we've got a beautiful top quality Denver steak.